Hey guys, it's 2022 and I come across software developers that are just not familiar with make files. And yeah, you might be a young developer just thinking like, what's the point of this arcane, you know, old technology of make? Have you ever looked at the GNU make file source? It looks terrible. True. I can understand why you would not want to use make. But for me, make is absolutely a fundamental part of of most software projects. In fact, if I check out a Git repository and I can't just run make to figure out what things is happening, how to build it, for example, then I think that project is, is fundamentally flawed. A make file is something you look at and it tells you how it works. Like for example, this one, it looks a little complicated perhaps, but it's essentially like a whole bunch of aliases. In a, in a bash script you can think about that and the main one the top one that gets executed first is a deploy so what is this make file doing it's showing you how to deploy this project and that's probably what you want to do with it you might be thinking why can't i just write out you know deploy.sh well the cool thing about make files is that once you check it out you just run make it's a well-known entry point and i try and make a few arguments of that nature in my in my uh, blog link below it's an entry point it shows you like the readme how to build it how to run it how to get it going that's the fundamental concept of make files it's it's a convention right and it's a convention that you really should follow to otherwise you're missing out it's fast and it's present with every de de devel environment. I've come across JavaScript developers who, who like, you know, npm run and like, oh, it's, I can now make in my package.json a nice little alias to show people how to deploy. And, and you know, when you run npm run, it, it, it's like molasses compared to make files. Very quickly, I just wanted to demonstrate how to write, write a make file. And the most important thing I want you to learn is that Make files are simple. Keep them simple. Don't overcomplicate it because the language is a bit weird. When you want to do complicated things in it, it will just fight you. And that's a good thing in a way because you want to keep your make file simple. So everyone knows Markdown, right? Yeah. So look down here. Um, I've got a hello world. Hi. Um, whatever. Uh, let's just keep it like that. So a make file shows how to build that markdown. So you could you could have a whole blog, in fact my whole blog is just a make file, where, where essentially you say what you want to produce. Like say you want to produce a, a, um, a test.html. That is the file name. And then you say what the dependency is, test.markdown. You got to have a tab there. You need an editor that shows you that you have a tab, and then you sh and you say what the command is to make that file. So you say test dot markdown test .html. That's essentially a um, a make file. So if I run make, it creates that thing. And the cool thing about make is that it's pretty smart with with files. Like it knows, for example. Um, it's already been built, so you don't waste time and complicate it. I mean, it's more associated with maybe C and things like this, but you can use make anywhere, okay? So typically, by convention, you would have something like a clean target, where you would um, clean up the artifact, and you would have like maybe an, an all target, where you would describe the things that you want to do. So if you have many of these sort of things, many pages in your blog, if you will, you would, you know, you know food.html, blah, 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 blah. So this is essentially a make file. And it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. It's not embarrassing to, to check that, that in. I'll do a make clean. The cool thing, uh, um, oh. What have I done wrong here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, now it's working properly. Oh, another cool feature about Make is that you can usually auto-complete. You see, I just pressed tab there on my bash shell with auto-completion on, and it, it auto-completes the targets. 
Okay. So I th essentially that's all I wanted to show you, how to write a make file, why you should be using it, and um, please like the video and comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.